All right, so in this video, we're going to make a uh, panda face, but it's going to be a lot cuter than all of these. It's going to look a lot better than that, I think, when we're done. So open up Adobe Illustrator and uh, just bring up any sort of sheet size is fine. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just use pretty much one tool for all of it, and that's the ellipse tool. So I'm going to draw an ellipse. And if you hold down shift, by the way, it just keeps it a perfect circle. And about that size is just fine. And then I can go over here to my selection tool to move it, or just press V. You know, I'm going to kind of center it up. Right about there is fine. And next thing I want to do is use my direct select. So I can use A or the button right over here, direct select tool. And I'm going to click on the very bottom. Okay. Now, if that didn't work, it's probably because you still had, um, probably because you still had the whole thing selected. And when I hit A, it doesn't just select that one. So I click off it and then click on it again. And I'm going to bring that in just a little bit. Okay, maybe something like, I want to make sure it's centered up still. Maybe something like that. That's pretty good. Okay, and from this, I can grab this and paste it. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. If I do Control C, that copies it. And then Control V to paste it. And again, I'm going to use my direct select, or I'm sorry, my, my selection tool. So I'm going to use V. And I'm going to shrink this down some. And then I'm going to rotate it, and these are going to be our ears. Okay, right now it's in front to send it in back. I'm just going to right-click on it, arrange, send to back. I could go, I could go over all these um, shortcuts, but really they're all there. Like just hover your mouse over, and it shows. Like I should do Shift, Control, and bracket, but I'm not going to do that. Send to back, and it's still a little large, so let's shrink it a little more. Even probably something like that. It's pretty good. Pandas have pretty good size ears. Um, you can also use your arrow keys if you want to like do fine adjustments. Um, so there's one ear, and I'm going to copy and paste that again. And I'm going to bring this one in about right here, and then I'm going to kind of squish it in a little bit and make it smaller. So something about like that. And I could right click on this one now and bring bring to front, and that way it looks about like that. I don't like how much that's like that. So I'm going to move this in some too. That's pretty good. I like that. So once I have that, I'm going to grab this outside one and I'm going to do a gradient. Um, if you have the gradient tool open, it should be here. Otherwise, you know, you can grab one of these as well. Um, right here is one. But make sure your gradient's open. If any of these things over here are never there for, for you, then just go to window and then choose them and then place them over to where you're, wherever you want them. So that looks fine to me. And then I am going to do the same gradient again, but I don't like, like it doesn't look 3D. So I'm going to grab the inner one. And right now I, I can actually just, I could just switch these around like this, right? Or I could have chose this to be a 180 of, of the other one. That would work too. So that's what that looks like. Now you'll see these lines in there. Don't like that. So if I click one object, I can just turn the lines off. Like here's your uh, stroke and I can use this line right here or I can go down here and choose it there as well just make sure you're on the stroke though so no line that looks pretty good that looks better and I would do the same thing for in here as well no stroke um, if I want to leave it on for now so I can see them easier then I, then I can and I can always turn them off later too um, if I don't like the gradient how the angle it's coming from I can switch it um, instead of 180 I could go like 150 or something like that um, I'm actually thinking more like 190 or 200 even and I'm going to change this inner one to be the opposite so I'll just do 180 of that there we go um, actually probably a little more and you can actually also use this gradient tool over here and you can just grab it and change change the direction of it as well oops I thought you could change the direction of it easier than this eh, whatever or like I said, you can just change it from in here. Whatever, whatever's floating in your boat. I'm going to 210. Oh, it doesn't let you do that. I guess you have to go to a negative number. Whatever, it looks fine. Um, and, and then to get the other side, I can just highlight that. Now see, it selected all of it. So instead, I'd hit Shift and then deselect the larger one. Or if I click right to left. Oh, that's only a different program, sorry. All right, just deselect it by holding down Shift and clicking the other one. And then I'm going to copy this, Control-C, and to paste in front, I can do Control-F, and I actually have another one right there, but I want to reflect it. I want it to be on the other side. 
So I'm going to go up to Effect. I'm sorry, no, Object, Transform, Reflect, and you can click on Horizontal or Vertical. If you want to see the change, just click on Preview. And I want it to be there. I want it to be a Horizontal, I'm sorry, a Vertical uh, Reflect. Hit OK, and then I can bring it over there. And you'll see it actually, um, if you hold down Shift, it'll snap to either being straight above or straight over. And I can place it relatively in the same spot, right about there. And that looks pretty good. So you can kind of see this is going to be a panda. <laughs> um, the next thing I'll do is this inner um, circle. You know what I never did is I never put a gradient on that either. So I'm going to click on the gradient button. It looks like this. That's not what we want. Instead of linear, let's try radial. Okay, and we want the it to be white and have a kind of a darker edge. So instead of the way it is right now, again, I could just flip these colors around. Oops. And by the way, if you want to move around your page, just hold on space. It turns into a little hand. You can move it around. And then I'm going to go to the edge with black. Now, i may got to make sure I stay on that object. Otherwise, it's not going to work. But like that. Okay? Um, or I'm sorry, his face would be white. So that doesn't look really good. This black's too dark. So I'm going to double click on that black. Or just once. Or it doesn't like me. It doesn't matter. I can just go up here and grab one of these grays up here, too bring that down you can just drag it down into the bar and if you want that black you just grab that black and pull it away and then it'll disappear now right now it's more of a gray overall but if you see this little diamond right here it's the gradient slider I can just move that towards the gray there we go even a little farther there and really in all of this now I don't really need the stroke on any of this um, you can keep it on if you'd like and you can turn it off later but I'm going to turn it off right now I selected all of it clicking no stroke and that's what it looks like now. And you can see it looks kind of like 3D-ish. It's pretty cool. I like it that way. Um, if this white isn't really showing up for you, you don't like that, you can always grab like another gray and drop that in, get rid of the white, and move that over. Just make sure if you're going to do something like that, you do it to the other side. For now, though, I'm just going to leave it as white. You can decide what you want to do with that, okay? All right. All right, the next thing would be eyes. And again, we're going to grab my ellipse tool. By the way, if your ellipse tool isn't showing, it might be a square. Hold that square down and it'll show up. So I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. And I'm going to just draw a couple circles, um, sizes that I I think would look good. Um, again, I can press V and I can move it to where I want. It'd be more like in this area right here. Um, and not only that, um, but the other thing I can do is I can kind of manipulate this. If I'm going to use my direct select, Maybe I'll bring the top one down a little bit. Oops, remember, i got to click off it first. Drag the top one down a little bit. And I can even drag the other one even just a little bit lower. So it's like that more sh that sh kind of shape. Um, and then the gradient, um, I think what I would want to do for that is bring s down some darker colors. I'm going to bring some grays in here like this instead. Put the black in the middle. Um, mark, put it on the edges. And then run these out a little farther. Um, there we go. All right, that looks pretty good, just like that. And then I want to do uh, a circle in the center. So this is more just the, the the darker patch on the panda that you'd see. And so I'm going to grab a circle. You know, it's going to fit inside. So I want to hold down Shift, make sure it's a perfect circle. Go like that instead. And this one, um, I actually have that same gradient on that um, that was chosen. So I could do radial. Or, or something else. So instead of 180, I'm just going to type in 90. Um, I'm going to go with a linear vertical like that. Okay. And then I'm going to grab another ellipse tool. And if I want, I could grab this one and just draw it right then and there. But I don't really need to. I'm going to go ahead and hold down Shift. And I want to make this one almost the same size. Now, you'll probably notice that these aren't really lined up all centered. So I'm going to make this one. I should probably make this white so you can see it for right now, though. Um, if I wanted to center all of these up, you know, I can hold down Shift and select all three of them. And then there's the alignment tool. Now, I don't, oh, I do have alignment tool right here. If you don't have this alignment or pathfinder, again, they're under window, and you choose it, and it'll come up. Or if you have multiple objects selected, a lot of times it just comes up here. And what I can do here is I can uh, horizontal alignment. I'm going to use that one uh, just to kind of line it up. Um, you don't necessarily need to hor or vertically align it because I wanted that to kind of like dip down. Um, and this isn't quite the right size that I want, so I can hold down Shift and make it larger. But if I hold Control Shift, I'm sorry, Alt Shift, it just makes it uh, larger from the center and not from one side. So there, that's that's kind of what I want. Maybe I should make it just a little taller. 
something like that. All right. So that's my perfect circle. And then I would need, I'm going to go with uh, blue eyes. So I can grab this circle, control C to copy, uh, control F to paste in front. And then I would make this one smaller. So again, I'm going to hold on shift and alt and I'll make it smaller in the center. Now that's if I want to keep it centered. Um, but cute things are never, they don't look straight at you. They kind of go cross-eyed it seems like. So <laughs> I am going to choose a gradient again. All right. And we don't want black. We want maybe baby blue eyes. Um, so I'm going to grab a blue. I'm going to throw that down in my layers here. And instead of linear, I'm going to do radial. Okay. And I'm going to go with two different blues. And if I don't have the blue I want, you should be able to double click on any of those colors right there and just choose it. I'm going to go with like a lighter blue. Maybe I'll even go even lighter than that. And I can just adjust it right here if I want. And that looks pretty good like that. Um, and I think I want the opposite of that. So I'm going to drag this one over here. Bring this one over there. Okay. So it looks pretty good right there. And then I'm going to copy and paste that again. So control V to copy or control C to copy, control F to go right in front of it. And I'm going to make that even just a little bit smaller. So um, shift and alt and F and it should be pretty small. And then that was just going to be black. See, like that. Now again, I said kind of cross-eyed. I don't think I actually moved it over. So I'm going to select both of these things and just move them in a touch. Just a few hits on the keyboard to arrow it in. So that looks pretty good. Um, uh, there are a few adjustments I want to do. Um, you know, black's probably just too black. So I'm going to go with a, a gradient again instead and with that object. So I'm going to go um, gradient. But uh, let's do like a dark gray and maybe just a touch lighter gray in there instead of those blues. Um, that way it's actually, I want it dark on the edges and a little lighter as it goes in. Um, the opposite of that, sorry. So I can just kind of adjust these, move them around as I, as I want. Um, looks probably a little better. Maybe the black needs to be just a touch bigger, or I could make the blue a little bigger. Um, the other thing I would mention is um, I'm not really liking this as much as I thought. I think the gray is uh, a little too dark. I could drop in a, a little bit lighter gray in there instead. Overall, there you go. And then the same thing with these. The gradients, I don't really necessarily like them just the way they are. Um, so I'm going to let you mess with it, but right now it goes black to white, and I shouldn't have done that. It should be black to maybe a, another gray. Um, that would probably be a little more realistic um, for these. Same thing with the outside. Instead of going all the way to white, I'm going to drop in a gray instead. Um, now if I do that after I made this selection, then I should probably make sure I do the same thing over here and do the same amount. Or I could reflect these and uh, make sure it's the same gray that I'm using. As long as I'm using the same gray, it's no big deal. I can just toss these in there. So, again, I think I used that gray right there. Take these out. There, that's a little better. Mm, doesn't look quite right, does it? So, you'll do a better job than I just did. But uh, as long as you use the same blacks, you're going to be all right. I think I use this gray over here instead. There, it looks better. Okay, um, so there's the panda eye. And, and now that I'm looking at it, I really just don't like the eye. It's kind of creepy looking. I want to use control minus or plus, and that zooms you in and out. And then I can use my space bar and just look at, let's look at the pupil itself. Um, I think my colors really just aren't that right. I'm going to take this gray out and put a black down there instead. Um, and, and I know I, this is probably getting frustrating for some of you watching this. Just play with it, make it the way you want it to look like. Um, same with this blue. Um, I think the blue should probably be on the outside instead of the inside now that I have the pupil in there. Um, you know, I could even go farther with it, but uh, there, that's that's better, I think. All right. And not only that, but I think I'm just going to overall make it larger. So I can select multiple ones and bring them in. So. He's starting to look kind of cute. As long as he's not looking creepy, I'm good with it. So, All right, that's better. I like that. All right, and then just uh, a few white ellipses. So if I just choose white before anything else, I make sure I'm on my ellipse tool. Then I can just draw a few in here. And these are just like little reflections. I got a smaller one here and then one medium size there. Um, something like that. Um, you just want to make sure that's you want them kind of clustered a little bit but not like right next to each other. Or 
You can have them right next to each other. You just want to make sure they're varying size. This one should probably be a little larger. All right, and then once you have this, um, let's highlight all of that. And you want to deselect everything else. So hold on Shift and deselect the ears and the face. So it's just that. And then to group it, just right click and go to group. Okay, and now this is just a group of eyes. So if I move it, it all moves at once. Or if I copy it, it all moves at once. But let's say I wanted to go in there and edit it. The way you do that is if you double click on the group, you'll see up here it, I'm within the group now. That's why everything else turned a little hazier and gray. See, if I go back to layer one, it's black. You can see a lot clearer. Or if I double click on this group, I'm with inside that group. And so any changes I make happen inside that group. So let's say I did like, um, you know, wanted to make this outside path a little bit different. You know, I could go in here and just click the outside anchor and make it come in just a little bit like that. Okay, so it's not so circular. Um, and then what I want to do is I'll go back to layer one. I just click on that. And now it's just, even though, as long as I use my selection tool, it selects all of it. Okay, so let's make a reflection of this. So I'm going to do control F. Oh, why is this still doing that? Oh, I didn't copy it. I'm sorry. I, I select this first. Control V, not control V. What am I doing? Control C to copy. Thank you. And then control F. And then I have a second one in front of it, right? But um, that looks strange. So what I need to do is I need to go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Okay. And I want to make sure it is on vertical, right? Horizontal would be upside down. That looks really strange. So vertical, yes. Okay. And then I want to make sure, did I, I want to make sure I didn't make it any higher or lower. So I'm going to hover over it like this. And then as long as I hold down my shift, I'll, I'll make sure it's, I'll make sure it's uh, staying level with it. Okay. So we're doing really well right now, I think. I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's a good place to stop. We still need to do the nose and the mouth and everything else. But that looks pretty good the way it is. So go on to video two after you got this. If you'd like to make any little changes, go for it. Um, it doesn't need to look just like mine. You know what I mean? So good luck. Go on to video two.